April is Autism Acceptance Month. And today we're introducing you to a Bucks County firefighter who's equipping first responders with knowledge to help them interact appropriately with people with autism. Here's CBS News Philadelphia reporter Madeline Wright. Brian Folk is a lieutenant with the Horsham Fire Company. His son Daniel was three years old when he was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome. Things that I learned throughout his childhood that were strategies that help us work with him, uh, I implemented on emergency scenes. Lieutenant Folk built a training program for firefighters, paramedics, and police to give them strategies to help someone with autism during an emergency and overcome the communication barrier. I caught up with Lieutenant Folk after he provided the training to first responders at the Warrington Fire Company. Flapping their hands or flapping their feet or staying on their toes, uh, that's called stimming, where they're trying to calm themselves internally. Uh, that's out there. So the worst thing they could do is try to stop that behavior. Lieutenant Folk also teaches how to use the tools in this sensory bag. He says he's given out 150 of these bags to first responders in Montgomery and Bucks counties. We have noise reducing headphones because loud noises are something that's very prevalent at emergency scenes. We have dark safety glasses if lights were be, would be overwhelming to that person. Nick Pascalone attended one of Lieutenant Folk's previous classes. <laughs> He says he used the training a few weeks ago while responding to a 911 call about a child with autism who was having a medical emergency. We got the sensory kit out and we were able to use that to help communicate with the individual um, to make his uh, you know, situation a little better. Lieutenant Folk holds autism training 30 to 40 times a year. Sometimes his inspiration, his son, joins him. It makes me proud and like prideful to be a son and see all the positive effects and like outcomes that has come from it. A father and son on a mission to educate first responders about empathy and service. In Warrington, Madeline Wright, CBS News, Philadelphia.